Hi everyone, my name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. Now, for those of you who have been following this channel, you know that I use OneNote to take notes at work and to organize my information. I'm a big fan of OneNote, but there is one feature that I'm not a big fan of, and that's the search feature. The search doesn't behave the way you'd expect from using other Office products, and I think it's somewhat confusing how the search results are presented. So in this video, I'll explain how to interpret the search results and share some of my tips for searching for notes. This is going to be an in-depth tutorial, so if you want to skip ahead, please use the timestamp in the description below. Also, I am using the 2016 version, so if you're using a different version of OneNote, some of these tips may not work. So here's my OneNote. I have two notebooks which are organized into several sections, groups, and subsections. For those of you who are not familiar with the OneNote hierarchy, let me explain quickly. This is a notebook. We can have one or many. These are sections. Think of them as tabs within a notebook. We can group sections together and make them a section group like these two tabs here. Pages are where we take our notes. If you have an elaborate organization structure like me, sometimes we can get lost as to where we are. So I recommend pinning the notebook pane to the side. We can do this by pressing the down arrow next to the notebook name and hitting the thumbtack. Now we can clearly see the notebook organization structure and easily see where we are. To search for our notes, we put our cursor in the search box or use the shortcut Control E. Before we start typing our keywords, let's click on this down arrow to see what options we have. It shows we can specify the parameters for our search. If we have multiple notebooks and we don't know where to search for the note, we can select all notebooks. But if we know where the note is saved, we can navigate to that notebook section or section group and limit the search for faster and more refined results. So let's just say we want to search all notebooks. I'm looking for a note that I took last week on digital printing project, so I'll use the keywords digital printing. The results are displayed and refined as we type. So we see here it found a bunch of matches, but it's not very helpful. Let's explore this a bit and see what's going on here. We see that the results are split into a few different groups. First group, recent picks. Recent picks are the notes that we have previously viewed from a recent search result for example, now we currently see five in this group, but if we actually select a note from this search result, this note will be added to the recent picks list. Second group, in title. As the name suggests, this list is showing all notes with the keywords digital printing in the note title. The words may be matched anywhere in the title in any order. Third group, body contains phrase. Now this group shows all notes where the phrase digital printing is found in the body of the notes. There's an important distinction to highlight here. Since this section shows the match for the actual phrase, keywords must appear together exactly how we enter them in the correct order. This section will only show results for digital printing not printing digital, and not digital embossed printing. The fourth group. This group is a bit of a catch-all. This will find all notes where digital and printing appear on the page. Both words must appear, but they can be anywhere on the page, and they can be separate from each other. Another thing to note here is that this group will display matches for the different variation of the word. So if we search for the word promise, It'll show results for promised, promises, and promising. As you select the different notes shown on the result, the corresponding page will be displayed with the matching words highlighted. The notebook pane on the left will also highlight where the note page is. Sometimes when we have a large search result, it can be overwhelming. Pinning the search results provides additional options on how we can view the results. Here we have an option to filter the results by changing the search parameter. And by default, the matching notes are sorted by the last modified date. But we can also sort by the section or the title, both in ascending or descending order. 
OneNote searches through embedded images and handwritten notes. Let's grab a snapshot of this page in Wikipedia and insert it to our page. Once the image has been added, we can perform a search on any of the embedded text. Similarly, we can add a document as a file printout and search through its contents as well. Handwritten notes captured directly into OneNote can be searched as well. I have a note here that I capture using my iPad Pro and it accurately matches the search text. However, handwritten notes taken from other applications like Notability or even photos of handwritten notes brought in as a JPEG or PDF are not searchable in OneNote. This is disappointing as other apps like Evernote can do this very well. OneNote allows us to find notes with specific tags. Personally, I don't love this feature since we can't filter the notes by specific tags, at least not in this 2016 version of OneNote. Rather, it pulls all tags. And because of this, if we have a lot of notes, the search can take up to several minutes. And it pulls tags like in attendance, which I don't find very helpful at all. Since I tend to pull in meeting details from Outlook for notes that I take, Almost every note page will have attendees info. This means every one of these notes will be tagged. Primarily for this reason, I always group the tags by the tag name. I find this is the only meaningful way to view the results. And if the result list is too long, we can always filter by these different criteria. We can also create a summary page in OneNote so that we can view the results more easily. OneNote can also search for matching words in embedded audio and video clips. If you want to enable this feature, go to File, Options, Audio and Video, and select the Enable Searching Audio and Video Recordings for Words checkbox and click OK. I know that this is a cool feature, but unless this is something you plan to use regularly, I recommend keeping it disabled as it'll slow down the normal search. Well, that was an in-depth look at how the search features work in OneNote 2016. Now that we know how OneNote matches and displays results, we can be more instructive in how we enter the keywords and group the results so that we can more quickly zero in on the note that we're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks and bye for now.